There's a strange thing going on with uh, gold sales on eBay. Uh, if I go to the German website uh, from eBay, eBay.Germany, and I look for gold, then I'll find a lot of listings that look like this. And they're all listings. They're very short time uh, next to each other, so it seems that they're being listed automatically. They are for products that are uh, situated in the US, so it's a sale from the US. And they're all for the same kind of worthless gold-like uh, things that start with a starting bit of one uh, euro. Now there are a couple of sellers that sell these items. This is uh, one of them and he has uh, 1882 uh, items for sale. All the same type of items. Many of, many of them uh, are not uh, sold. We have another one here, so one that sells uh, well crap basically, but he lists it under bullion or uh, edelmetal. This one has 2465 items for sale, and they're all for sale within uh, minutes of each other. Also located in the US. Uh, let's go to another one. We got this one, it looks different, so it's probably a different seller. Or Treasury trinkets, uh, maybe it's the same one. 8029 uh, products for sale, each uh, multiple products per minute, all pretend gold, all fake gold, worthless stuff. And they're all situated in the US. Now if I go to the US uh, website and I look under gold bullion, I on the first page I see many uh, actual gold bars. I can see uh, Palm Suisse gold bars, I see one Credit Suisse, 100 grams Palm Suisse again, coins, uh, Mexican peso, American Eagle, and of course there are some guys that sell, uh, sell gold, gold leaf and flakes, that is also not bullion. Mini gold coins, you see them. Oh, here you have a one tenth ounce uh, of uh, gold Canadian maple leaf. But the strange thing is, I don't see this guy that I see here in Germany. This American guy. Uh, and the auctions that I see listed on the American website are at least uh, well, a few minutes apart, 10 minutes apart. And most of them are about actual valuable, valuable goods. Valuable, I'm sorry. So what I think is happening here is that the US uh, is uh, basically waging a, an eBay war, polluting uh, the gold listings with all this stuff and as you can see nobody's bidding on them because of course it's, it's crap it's worthless they all will come and go so these people are not selling much and they're not shipping much but they are filling the listings <coughs> i can't imagine that this uh, makes money i can only imagine that if you can see here i have a page full of uh, items that have no biddings and i get like four items per per minute uh, basically so that you can calculate what the costs are to do this offering and you can also calculate what the gains are financially to uh, win from this uh, from the sale of these because the bidding starts at one euro so if you bid one euro then well maybe it's a spam type of calculation but I can't imagine that this is uh, this is uh, profitable profitable business business so it's more likely that it's funded and it's funded to make it difficult for people in Germany to find their gold uh, or to kind of make it very cumbersome to uh, to look for gold listings. I'm not sure, maybe it's just uh, kind of uh, I'm trying to make them suspect for no reason, but I do not see uh, any reason why an American seller that thinks that there's a big market for his uh, trinkets and for his uh, worthless uh, uh, pendants uh, would not sell them also in the US because that's not an expensive uh, thing to do. You can it's it's exactly as expensive as uh, selling in Germany and the US at the same time. So uh, I thought it's perfectly annoying, I guess, and it calls for some uh, kind of regulation also, or not regulation, but some kind of vetting of the actual products. Um, even if you look at the of at the Bewertingen or the ratings of these persons, they're not 100%. So I guess what happens if if one in a thousand persons asks to actually uh, get one of these uh, pendants, they won't get it.